Well, welcome to Lassen College in Susanville, California. For those of you who watch my channel, you've probably heard me talk about starting the gunsmithing program down here at the school. Well, we've had kind of a rough start. The uh, first morning we had had uh, classes here, a terrible thunderstorm set over the school here and, and just pounded the area. And firefighters thankfully caught most of the fires, but one of them got away. And, um, for the first two weeks, the, the wind blew that darn fire right here towards town and we were kind of in and out of out of school the first week and then the second week it, it got right here on the edge of Susanville and a lot of the students and staff were evacuated so we didn't come to school the whole, whole second week so this is the end of the third week we've got a good full weekend now we're kind of getting to, onto an even keel so um, this morning I, I promised that uh, I would give you some updates from time to time so we'll take you on a little tour look look briefly at some of the machines and some of the projects we've been working on just kind of getting started in uh, the machine shop classes here at the gunsmith school. So here's the aftermath of that sheep fire that uh, disrupted so many of our classes last week. Really burned right up to the edge of uh, some of the outlying areas around Susanville. In fact, uh, from the latest reports, we heard that it was like 30,000 acres and nine homes lost in the fire, really tragic. So here's a look at the Lassen College gunsmith machine shop. And all there's 18 lathes in here and a, a half dozen milling machines. This is the lathe I've been working on and um, looks like I'll probably be on this one all semester. Here's one of our first projects. We took a piece of inch and a quarter bar stock, turned down six different steps and then put six, six different types of threads on. Kind of a um, practice both in, in uh, turning down some steel and, and threading. Here's a closer look at one of the milling machines. Um, really nice machines, have a digital readout on them. Um, you know, here at the Lassen College Gunsmithing Program, it's a manual machining uh, operation, and really for general gunsmithing, that's, a, that's what's necessary. Um, the CNC machines are great for repeatability, making a lot of the same part over and over again, but mostly in, in uh, general gunsmithing, you're making uh, individual parts so uh, really need to understand manual machining. Well, the weekend's finally here, so I'm back in our shop here on the Cinnabar, and I brought some homework with me this weekend, so I wanted to take just a few minutes and kind of show you some of the projects that we worked on on this uh, introductory machine shop course down at uh, the gunsmithing school. Now, I talked a little bit about uh, this being a manual machining program. And so we started out with, with really, really old school manual machining. See, the first project, we took a piece of round stock. See, if you, if you can imagine a one inch shaft like this, cut up one inch off of it so we've got a one inch long and one inch round piece and then we had to make a six-sided piece like this now the tricky part of this is it had to be in very tight tolerances within three one thousandths of an inch in every plane in every direction and and within three thousandths of an inch of each other of each of the other planes so you're probably thinking, if you know anything about machining, that, well, that's not too tough. I saw some pretty nice looking milling machines um, when we went through the tour of the shop, um, similar to this one, but even a little nicer than the one we have here in the shop. But the trick is, this is real old school manual machining. This had to be done with hand tools, all by hand, basically with a file. So you can think about uh, the time and precision involved in something like that. Now some some folks uh, the first full week of class took to get this thing just right and some of them ended up a whole lot smaller than mine. My, I got really lucky and hit mine while it was still fairly large and didn't have to keep chasing it down time and time and time again. That's an interesting project. Okay so our, our next project was to hand grind different profiles of lathe tools, lathe bits. Um, so in order to start working on the, the next projects on the lathe, we had to by hand um, profile 
a bunch of these bits and different profiles, general cutting bits and different types of threading bits. Um, seems like it might be fairly simple, uh, very time consuming, very slow to put these in and get them perfectly straight um, and get the angles all correct and just have one single grind mark on them and not several different facets. This was a lot of hours put into these four bits that you see here. So we can progress now that we've got the, our, our tool bits ground to, to the proper dimensions. Now we're going to get over onto the lathe. First thing we're going to make is, is a fairly simple project called a, a dead center because we're going to need this on the next project and I've already sh showed this to you. We had it in the lathe when we, we did our little tour but this, this goes into the, the chuck and centers up our workpiece here and of course I talked a little bit about our, our first turning project. We, we took a one inch shaft and then turned down six different diameters and put six different types of threads and different pitches and different profiles. There's some square thread and V thread and, and all different uh, pitches of thread here. Um, so we got a lot of practice on both turning and threading on this little project. So when we got through with all those things, in between all the time off we got, had to go home because of the, the fire that was raging nearby, then we start working on tools. And this is really a fascinating part of the pro program in that what we're learning in the machine shop is to make tools that we will use in future classes. And if we actually become gunsmiths, tools that we'll use the rest of our lives. So our, our first project after we, we get through basically these practice projects and, and getting our, our bits um, made properly is to turn this handle out of an inch and a quarter piece of shaft. Um, this is going to be a handle for an action wrench and we'll make three of these different profiles of action wrenches. Now an action wrench for those of you who don't know is a, a wrench that is used to take the action or receiver off of a barrel. This is what a finished one looks like. This is one that I, I took a class down at the college two or three years ago and we made an action wrench. And I've used this on, a, on I think, three or four of my Winchesters since I made it. So this, this is the handle portion. Now we're working on, on making the head and we'll make some with different profiles. Fortunately, most Winchesters have just a um, straight slab-sided receiver. So this kind of a uh, action wrench works really well for it. So that's pretty much as, as far as we've gotten in this introductory course. We're gonna be in machine shop for the next about four weeks and then we'll we'll move on to um, some different metallurgy classes and we'll move on to a lot of different uh, finish work classes. We're going to take uh, some parkerizing, um, color case hardening, different types of bluing, uh, those kind of things. So if you're interested in, in what it's like to go through a college gunsmithing program and as I understand it there's only a, hand few, a handful left in the United States brick and mortar type gunsmithing schools, um, check back from time to time. We'll, we're going to bring you updates, you know, probably every two or three weeks, uh, maybe even sooner um, as we go through this program to show you just exactly what it is that we're doing and what we're working on. Until next time, happy trails from the Cinnabar.